Hello and welcome back to Cook to Flourish. This is Robin Cook and what a delight it is to be with you here showing you a new recipe from some beautiful vegetables from where the red fern grows. So today we are making a 4th of July quinoa salad. So I hope that you and your family really enjoy this fun and flavor for dish, whether it is for the 4th of July or any other time, it is going to be delicious. So it's pretty simple to put together. So I'm just gonna walk you through how to easily gather your ingredients. So first I have four cups of cooked quinoa. So this is what we're going to start with. This is our base. So what I did was I soaked one cup of dry rainbow quinoa for about two or three hours on the counter in some water. So I would put your cup of quinoa into like a mason jar and fill it up with water to a couple inches above the quinoa. Let it sit there like while you're making dinner, perhaps a couple hours, and then you can drain and rinse. And then you're gonna boil two cups of vegetable broth or chicken broth. And once it comes to a boil, then add your soaked quinoa into that boiling broth, and then you're going to cover it. And you're gonna cook it for about 10 minutes. So check it after 10 minutes and see if it looks like it's pretty well cooked and fluffy and making sure that most all of the liquid has been absorbed. Now, if it hasn't been, you can cover it and leave it to cook for a few more minutes, check it again, and then turn off the heat put the lid back on and just let it sit there for another 10 minutes. Then by that time, it should have absorbed all the liquid, all the goodness from the broth, and then you have this beautiful batch of quinoa. Now, while we have that, I actually let this cool in the refrigerator overnight. So now it's nice and chilled, it's ready to make our salad. So I also have a white salad turnip and I've just used a vegetable peeler just to shave it into ribbons. I also have some delightful cherry tomatoes that I have quartered them, or you can even cut them into eighths. So however small of pieces you want. So I have about a half a cup of the cherry tomatoes and I have one salad turnip that I've just done the little wisps with. I also have some green onions that I've just diced and so I have probably two tablespoons or about half of a green onion. Then I also have about two tablespoons of some minced carrot tops. So instead of parsley, we're doing carrot tops, making sure that we're getting the most out of all of our awesome veggies. Then I also have some pea shoots that I've just chopped and some fresh basil. So I have about a half a cup of those two together. And then lastly, I have most of a can of garbanzo beans. So these are all gonna go into our quinoa. So it's just gonna be a very fun, flavorful summer salad here. So I'm gonna dump all of our garbanzo beans in here. Then we're gonna add our wonderful veggies. So we have our tomatoes, our turnip, we have our green onion. Now feel free to substitute anything. If you don't care for tomatoes, don't worry about it. You could do bell peppers in here instead if you wanted. You could even do some peeled and shaved or shredded kohlrabi. That would be really good in this too. So now I'm gonna put our basil and our pea shoots. So the pea shoots are gonna give us a little bit of extra green veggies in here. And the basil is just gonna really give it that nice summer flavor. So now we're just gonna kind of mix this together a bit. It's already so colorful, I love it. So nice, so refreshing. It's gonna be just great. Wonderful for a picnic or as a good side dish. This would be really good next to some grilled chicken or some grilled steak or fish. It'd be so good with that. And so now for our dressing here. So I've whizzed up in a little mini blender. I have some lemon juice. I have some olive oil. I even have some basil flavored olive oil. And then I also have some white miso paste some sea salt, pepper, fresh garlic, some more fresh basil in here, and let's see, a little bit of water in tahini. But I will make sure and write all the measurements below so that way you can know exactly how to make it. So it's made this kind of creamy Italian-like dressing, and we're just gonna pour that over our quinoa here. Oh, it's gonna be so good. And just think how healthy this is. You're getting, you know, good starch, good carbs from the quinoa and some fiber from it and a little bit of protein too. Then you're getting the refreshing flavors of all of these veggies and they're so fresh and they're gonna give you wonderful antioxidants. Oh, I just love this so much. So now is the fun part, we get to plate it and then we get to go and enjoy it. But I wish you could smell it. I just smell all the flavors coming together. 
It's like summer in a bowl. So we're gonna put this onto a little plate here. And it's so cute, this little plate, I wish you could see it, but it says farmer's market. So this is the perfect plate for this dish. So I am going to bring this around to the camera so that way you can see what the finished dish looks like. Isn't that wonderful? So we have our wonderful 4th of July quinoa salad. So thank you all so much for joining. Enjoy all your beautiful vegetables from where the red fern grows. God bless you and we will see you again in the Cook to Flourish kitchen. Bye-bye.